Pilot, what are you doing? I'm sorry. I was reading a report on basically how the Earth, discovered by scientists, is not according to Kyrie Irving flat. And that, I think, just puts the nail into my head that says, wow. Profound observation. Yeah, right? Are you a flat earther? Huh? Are you a flat earther? You know, I was uh, I was on the edge. <laughs> figuratively. And, you know, I, I kind of saw the science behind the Flat Earth Society, and I decided, you know, these are nice people, so I yeah. met them. Might as well they listen to the crazy people. They have members all around the world. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, like, all around, around. around the world. Yeah. Yeah, and then when I, you know, when I met one of my favorite NBA superstars, Kyrie Irving, he was a big Flat Earther because, you know, because he said, you know, he believed what the Bible said. Uh -huh. And so I kind of took his cue as and guidance from him to uh, suggest that and preach that the world as we know it is flat. I would not buy your product. I think it's, I think it's this flat. This is a horrible business pitch. Product. <laughs> There's a, this is no product. This is the this is advocacy for rightful for right science. So you don't want me to donate to the Flat Earth Society no. and buy their merchandise. No. I want you to buy their merchandise. It's better it's more it's better place for your money than like Jake Paul merchandise. <clears throat> Who? Jake Paul. The YouTuber. Or Logan Paul. They both suck. You know, Logan Paul I watched the He filmed the dead body. No, but like I watched uh D'Angelo Wallace's like commentary video and everything and like yes, Logan <clears throat> Paul has done some sh That's also not allowed on the radio. <laughs> Okay. Jeez. He hasn't done any shibboleth. Shibboleth. No, but like... Stop. It's, a, it's a Yiddish word. He does sound like he's, like, reformed, though. Like, he has his own, like, serious talk show and everything. He does seem very apologetic. Jake Paul, on the other hand. Yeah, Jake Paul's a He jerk. still acts just as immature as before, all this criticism You know what it is? It's these people need to look at themselves in the mirror and say, you know what, I'm tired of this. Like, the earth is not round. Oh, my gosh. The earth is flat. It is not a... flat. Are you going to tell me you're an anti-vaxxer now? I'm you an anti-vaxxer. I was, I, was, uh, I was thinking about it. No. I was looking I, at no. the sides for both sides. I'm no. not getting COVID from you. But I, I, don't, gonna, I, don't, I... I, don't, I don't think I'll be. Because I feel like if I am, I'm just going to get bullied by people who... You're a Karen. If you're an anti-vaxxer, you're a Karen. Oh, see, that's generalizing. I don't like that. Karens? <laughs> Yeah. Your name must be Karen if you're an anti-vaxxer. Is the earth flat? Okay, why do you believe the earth is flat? What do you mean? The Bible says. Which line? What do you mean which line? Just which read it. Which line in the Bible? I don't, I don't think know. the Bible says that. You're though Muslim. I am Jewish. You're Muslim, though. Uh, uh, so? It's called conversion. No, wait, wait. You're an ex-Muslim. It's called, yeah. You want to want to want, You want to know why, right? Because when I went to the edge of the earth and to the edge of my faith, I found that the earth was flat. What about your nose? What? At least my nose is covered in the mask. <laughs> Every time I talk, it keeps falling down. It must be due to the... Because... Maybe because you're telling so many lies, Pinocchio. <laughs> oh, good one. Good one. I, See, I, uh, I think that people who think the earth are flat are kind of stupid, not going to lie. Why, why do you say that? Because they've the seen it from space. We have seen the Earth from space. It is not freaking round. I'm flat. But don't they think? Like, oh, thank you, John. Oh, no, 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 no. No, it's not a Freudian slip. It's a slip. It's a slip in the wrong direction. Yeah. Just like the Earth. When the. Uh, I don't even know. I just know that the flat Earthers were pretty cool. Their baked goods were good. You yeah. know, the Torah. You don't even know what you're doing. As a Jewish man, the Torah also doesn't say the earth is flat. So. Well, the Torah you're... doesn't say anything about the earth. It just says about the heavens and the earth. The heavens and the earth. Do I need to make myself any clearer? Yeah, it doesn't say anything about the geometric shape of the earth. <sighs> no, we're not having this discussion. This is, like, not true. It's bullcrap. Conspiracy. I don't know, man. I think. I think. I'm the sane one, and I'm just surrounded in a room for loonies. Imagine that. Imagine like a like an anti-vaxer, just like in a room at a doctor's office or like a flat earther, and they're just like, yeah, like these people are insane. Don't they? I don't know. John, John, this actually reminds me. Have you heard, have you seen the trailer for Songbird? No. 
Michael Bay film? No. Oh, you guys got to see it. What is it? You told me about it's, it. It's uh, it's basically like the coronavirus. It's like they've been on lock, like the Earth's been on lockdown for like a good number of days, maybe like two hundred, maybe like a lot more than that. From and what? Basically, they know that like when you're infected, the government finds out they get military regimes and basically knock down on your door and make you. Um, they basically bust down your door and raid you. It's a very, very dramatic rendition. It's Michael Bay. Of the lockdown. It's Michael Bay. No, when did he make this? Is it during is like, Corona? Like he's capitalizing on the situation now. No, not as much as um, the attack of the Corona zombies and the Tiger King. Where's what? that? What is that? What? Okay, there's this company called Full Moon Productions. I'll look it up. Uh, the Corona zombies. It, it's a movie. Um, they made... In the beginning of the lockdown, they just had an actress stand in front of the camera or like a green screen um, and film two lines. And then they just recycled footage from old movies and overdubbed it to make it about the coronavirus. That is the ultimate. That it sounds like that's the cash what grab. Five bucks, apparently, I bet. Corona Zombies is a 2020 American horror comedy directed by Charles Band. This is the same man who made the Evil Bong movies. Uh, produced and distributed by Full Moon Features, inspired by the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, the film stars Cody Renee Cameron as Barbie, a woman who finds herself facing an outbreak of zombies infected of zombies infected by the coronavirus. And it's basically just a zombie movie. They overdubbed to include stuff about the coronavirus and Tiger King. You know, I feel like I feel like you can make these type of movies like maybe six months after the coronavirus diminishes. This was released in April 10th of 2020. April 10th. Ooh, this is prescient. I do. I remember <laughs> hearing, though, there there was a movie, like, in production during coronavirus. It was, like, starring Zendaya. But, like, no, like, they, they did find a way to, like, do it. The crew was kept, like, really small. Everybody was getting tested. Like, everything was, like, sanitized. That's what they did with Jurassic World Dominion. Yeah. And they still freaking delayed it till 2022. And I'm sad. At least I have school to keep me busy between now and then because I'm graduating later. Was was Tenet made during the pandemic? Probably not. No. Did you watch Tenet? No. I need to. I haven't been to the movie theater in ages. I don't I think anybody has been. Uh, Corona Zombies was filmed over a period of tw- 28 days, consists primarily of redubbed and repurposed footage from Hell of the Living Dead and Zombies vs. Strippers, as well as, as well as real world news footage. They also did a thing similar to this when the Tiger King craze was happening. They made this movie, um, and it was like this jungle explorer movie. And it was a kid who carried around a stuffed tiger, and they re- redubbed him with somebody who sounded like Joe Exotic and made it about Tiger King. And that was the biggest cash grab I have ever seen in my entire life. And it's just. Do you think he did it? Yes. You thought, you think, I don't, I think he's too dumb to like have done that. I feel like he killed Carol Baskin. What I don't, this, I think he's too dumb. King? He killed Carol Baskin, confirmed. That's not Carol Baskin speaking, it's a double. I didn't watch the Tiger King. Did you? Yes. <laughs> I didn't watch it either, but I know Carol Baskin definitely didn't murder her husband. No, no, but like Joe, like <laughs> yeah, I think I he feel was like too Joe, stupid to try to kill Carol. I feel like Joe Exotic is, tr- did murder Carol Baskin and... He's not in jail. He's inside a Carol Baskin mannequin. Oh, my gosh. And he is talking on Carol Baskin's behalf. And he sued himself to gain control of the Tiger Park. And now he owns it inside the Carol Baskin suit. So you're telling me yes. that it's Joe Exotic who's going to be on Dancing with the Stars? Yes. It's Joe Exotic. What do you think of the petitions trying to free him from jail? Donald Trump, they wanted Donald Trump to pardon Tiger King, and he's like, maybe. I mean, remember, uh, Mr. Exotic, he is a, uh, a, uh... A man? I mean, remember his, uh, run in politics and everything? Like, he did get, like, a third, third place. He tried. For what? For he, state? He tried to run for president. No, I thought he tried to run for like a lower like legislative like branch in his town. I thought he ran for president, but no, yeah, he I guess he did get third place. I don't remember. I just remember he ran for something. So, final consensus consensus. Did Carol Baskin do it? In all seriousness. Do you think she did it? I think she did it. But do you think like she actually like chopped him up and like fed him to the tigers? Yes. You do? Yes. 
No, I think he. I think she's. He's like under the plant. Cause there was a thing where Carol Baskin's like his will. The guy's will. His her husband's will was like, um, toyed with. Big ups to her. Well, we know she has a motive, but like as far as evidence, though, he just. It's the husband oh, flat out just disappeared. Face. It's all over her face. Yeah, I don't know. It's murder. Plus, what is it? If the tigers really did do it, like they would have left all the bones. Yeah, that's why. That's what the the septic tank was for. I'm I'm thinking I'm doing this while never while never seeing the show, so I'm like, I'm I'm just pulling stuff out of my butt here. It's pretty yeah. short. You could you could watch it. It's like eight episodes. It's, well, it's a little trashy. It was okay. Yeah, 